Sobermask debuted on OPTC Global on the 25th of May 2020. After discussing the batch in the previous video of Luffy Tara and Zoro Juro, today we can discuss the secondary Sugo Fest exclusive of the batch. His captain ability introduced a powerful captain action that allows him to avoid enemy gimmicks and bypass enemy defensive effects. His special can generate tandem slots and an attack boost for all characters, and if you work hard enough, you can even buff that attack boost even higher. Introducing Sobermask. In this series, we'll be traveling back in time to experience some of the older Sugo Fest exclusive characters in their prime, aiming to show just what it was like to use these characters on their debut. I hope you enjoy the video, and without further ado, let's enter the Legends of OPTC. Thank you for checking out yet another episode of the Legends of OPTC, and today we're having a look at the secondary character to debut alongside Luffy Zoro, which is Sobermask. And Sobermask was a really fun unit because you could use him in a lot of different teams. Like he was the, like a unit you could use in just about any team, and you're gonna find success with it. You could use him as a captain. You could use him as a crewmate. He's actually got a decent support too, so he's just really good across the board. Of course, when Pyre Rumble first came out, he wasn't really good for that, unfortunately. But we've already talked about all the batch and the other legends, so if you guys want to see that, go ahead and check out the other video, the previous video with Luffy Zora. We talk about all the batches and how good or bad some of these characters are, but we're going to focus in on just Sobermask today. So, Sobermask is a quick powerhouse free spirit character. Now, the interesting thing about this guy is that when he debuted, he debuted with a Limit Break Expanded Captain ability. I think this was the only legend, to my knowledge, that debuted with a Limit Break Expanded Captain ability. Very, very odd. But it basically, when you pull him, minus one cooldown in his Captain ability, which was obviously great, making him a pseudo speed farm captain. Uh, boost all characters attack by 3.5, boost chances of landing tandem slots, make them beneficial, and then if a character has a tandem slot, you get a 4.25 times attack boost instead. Remember that, you know, characters around this time period had that around 4 times multiply, so this all made kind of sense. Uh, you look at his expanded captain ability. So on debut, you could expand him, and obviously it's pretty expensive to do it, but the only benefit that you get out of expanding his captain ability is you, instead of making boost chance of landing tandem slots, it would greatly boost the chance of landing tandem slots. Now, I'm not too sure on the mathematics in terms of uh, how much of an improvement it actually is. Uh, I did end up doing it when I pulled the character initially because I wanted the best version of the unit. But uh, in hindsight, probably not the best choice to spend all the materials to do this. But hey, if he gets a 6 plus in the future, which I really hope he does, he might get a really nice expanded captain ability. Now, the big thing about this guy is that he has a captain action. This was uh, a captain, I think the, the last captain action character to come out was either V1 Big Mom or Frankie. It was one of those two. I can't remember off the top of my head which one came first. But still, it was quite a long time ago. And now we're finally getting a new one. Now, this effect, as we all know from Legend Queen that debuted, during the anniversary period on One Piece Treasure Cruise this year as of the recording of this video in 2023 he had essentially the same captain action as Sobermask so his his effect which allows you to swipe down on the character it would make him transparent he becomes invisible and then he prevents all debuffs on himself which can include bind despair special bind slot bind special reverse paralysis but it can include like blow away and just other gimmicks that would target him are just ignored when he's invisible furthermore it makes his own normal attacks uh, ignore defensive effects uh, including barriers uh, rainbow shield threshold etc damage nullification and it also adds 500 times his attack in additional typeless bonus damage to his own normal attacks so we have a look at his base attack right now so if you get him to level 150 obviously that's uh with limbrake expansion and everything so you got like th this this attack is pretty high here but if we just take the level 99 with limit break expansion like on debut you know, 1997 multiplied by 500 so it basically adds a million additional damage to sober masks normal attacks and remember it can bypass all defensive effects the only real issue is, is that when normal attacks only started being introduced into the game, normal attacks only negates this additional bonus damage, which really does kind of suck. 
But captain ability wise, he was just great because you could abuse him in a lot of different scenarios and you could use anyone with him because he is a rainbow captain. He provides cooldown. The only real issue with his captain is it, it's not very bulky. There's no HP boost, no damage reduction, no healing mechanics. That's the only real downside here. But offensively speaking, actually pretty decent on release. As for his crewmate abilities, both of them are actually really nice. He does make tandem slots beneficial to everyone. Now this type of effect wasn't very common on release. So being able to have that was great. And then this other effect is so cool. So anytime any other character uses a special, reduces his own special cooldown by four turns. That's ridiculous. When especially you look at the special 11 turn cooldown for his special, like holy dude. <laughs> Just using his special and then using a bunch of other specials on your crew, then you can use them again. That was the best way to use him. But his special ability would change all slots, including block into tandem, which of course with his captain ability, you'll get the 4.25 times boost instead. Then it will give everyone a 1.75 times attack boost for one turn. Pretty simple stuff. But then if his special is used again in the same turn, then it would boost the attack of all characters by 2.5 times instead. So the 1.75 is buffed to 2.5. And it means if you run two captains of Sober Mask, you can use both specials in the same turn to get the 2.5 bonus. Alternatively, you can use the Sober Mask special, use a bunch of other specials, and allow his crewmate ability to reverse the cooldown of, of Sober Mask. So then you can launch him twice in the same turn. Or you could use him on multiple different stages. Use one on stage 3, use a bunch of specials all the way on stage 4, stage 5, and then you can use him again on stage 5 to, to get your special ready to go. So there's multiple different ways to use him. It's a Sanji character. He has pretty decent supports too. Speaking of supports, let's have a look and see what his one actually does. Attaching to Frankie and Usopp, which were the two straw hats that were present during his first server mask transf transformation. But the effect itself says if you use the special of one of those units, then you get a 1.3 attack boost for all characters for one turn. So pretty decent, honestly. He does have a critical strike, 10% bonus damage, but 50% chance is pretty bad. He has pinch healing, 1.5 HP recovery, and then the recovery bind resistance. So Sober Mask is going to be a bunch of fun to use today. Really looking forward to it. So I guess without further ado, let's actually jump into some content with Sober Mask. So jumping into the content now, we're going to be going up against Colosseum Shutenmaru, which I do believe was the Colosseum that debuted when Luffy, Zora, and Sober Mask came out into One Piece Treasure Cruise. We're going to be using Sober Mask as the captain, but the cool thing about this unit is you could use him as a captain, or you could use him as a crewmate, and he was a great asset to your team. Obviously, as a crewmate was the more ideal way to use him, because captain abilities obviously scale as time progresses and they get kind of power crept, but these specials that this character had, being able to launch that special multiple times per quest, and in some some opportunities being able to launch it twice in the same turn if you're able to do that is massive getting a 2.5 attack boost rather than getting a 1.75 boost and it's for all characters plus changing all slots including block into tandem like it's so so good but that captain action is what we're going to hopefully showcase today showcase what you can do with it the other characters on the team are kind of whatever we do have level limit break 5 on snake man which means that he does have a slightly different special to when he first debuted but it's not really going to matter for this piece of content it doesn't really matter at all and then we've got some other characters as well we've got Dorothy treble we've got weevil and we've got the stampede crocodile we'll talk about them as we progress through this but uh really excited to jump into this one today it's been a very very long time since i have used sober mask as a captain for any piece of content so i think it's kind of exciting jumping into this for you know the first time in, in a long time and the cool thing about him as well is that he was kind of like a pseudo speed farming captain as well when he first debuted because he does give minus one cooldown in his captain ability and he does you know give minus one cooldown and then you got like sockets which gives you an extra two and then you got like the host ship which can add even more cooldown and it's just really really cool and as we know with that captain action being able to provide the invisibility to himself and you know best case scenario you run double sober mask so you can activate the captain action on both of your captains so it makes you both of your captains immune to blow away despair bind paralysis special bind special reverse just a, a bunch of different stuff obviously it is a little unfortunate that we can't activate the sober mask captain action when he is a sub because it's called a captain action for a reason <laughs> but just imagine if you're able to activate an ability like that when he is a crewmate dude that would be just immaculate it would be so cool but of course that is not meant to be I think we are a little bit overstalling right here. We can definitely move on to, to, the, uh, to, the, to the mini bosses now. Uh, we're going to have to start using specials when we hit stage 3. We'll go ahead and try and blast through this as much as we can. And of course, we want to generate as many tandem slots as possible because that is what will give Sober Mask the much more potent captain ability. 
However, when we move into stage three, we're going to find that a little bit troublesome as Kanjuro will give our entire crew one turn of slot bind. Of course, if you're using Luffy Zora on the crew, I believe their switch effect, to my recollection, does remove slot bind by one when you activate that switch ability. But that's okay. We don't need any matching slots because you'll see exactly why in just a moment. First of all, we'll go ahead and use the Snake Man special, which is going to give us an orb boost on stage one on, on this stage here. Doesn't really matter, but if we hit a certain amount of perfects, we get an orb boost in that following turn, which of course is going to help us out. We're not allowed to activate an orb boost on stage uh, three anyway, stage four. So it's, it's really nice having this Luffy ability. But the other effect of making slots beneficial, also going to be pretty key when we move on to that next stage. Uh, and from here, we can activate the, the special captain action to generate the invisibility. And not only does it allow you to avoid debuffs on the next turn or the next stage, but the additional damage that it adds to the crew is pretty significant as well. Uh, as, you know, with normal attacks only being super prevalent now, this type of ability is kind of whatever. But when normal attacks only is not available, the amount of additional damage that you get is pretty significant as you guys are going to see just here so we're going to make sure we hit a certain amount of perfect so that we can generate the boost in the following turn let's get it and there we go Sober mask himself adding 1.4 million damage with his own normal attack compared to everyone else doing kind of whatever damage and the fact that also Sober mask is not very effective uh with his type compared to Kandra really helps out in that regard as well so we are inflicted with invisibility, so the enemy who would normally inflict despair to our crew here, we can avoid that, that's not an issue. We are still inflicted with attack down, which is why we have Weevil. Weevil will remove that for us, as well as give us an attack boost. And because we hit those perfects in that previous stage, we're actually going to get uh, an orb boost from Luffy, thankfully. And we'll go ahead and use the special ability here of Weevil, which will give us that attack boost. I believe it's a two times attack boost. Because uh, I think it only works if the enemy has a delay immunity or a full immunity. Which in this case here is, is going to happen. So we have the attack down removed. We have an attack boost. We have an orb boost. And this is uh, more than enough damage to get the dub here. Uh, we will go ahead and switch Dofi over to Treble. So at least we have a dex character versus the quick enemy. But these normal attacks should be pretty good to get the job done here. Easy. Easy as you like. No issues at all. However, when we reach this final stage versus Shuten Maru, there is a slight hiccup with this team, which does make it, you know, probably not as efficient, is the fact that we do have to stall one turn because we're inflicted with one turn of special reverse. Not really fun to deal with that. And we also have chain reduction, and we're not allowed to use a special that does damage to him because if he does, then he actually inflicts us with some debuffs. So it's not really a big issue though because we'll go ahead and stall one turn. We'll get our cooldowns back and then we'll go ahead and do our burst. So he does inflict this with recovery bind, quite a lot of it actually, and then he does uh, quite a bit of damage to us, but that's kind of it. Now we're ready to do everything that we were going to do previously, just stalling us out a little bit. So we'll go ahead and switch over to Doflamingo, get that strength character, use his special ability, which will give us a 2.75 chain lock. And I believe if you hit a certain amount of perfects, you get a different chain lock in the following turn, but we ain't lasting another turn. We're, we're killing this turn. But still, a 2.75 chain lock is, is, is all we need. Even a 2.5 chain lock would probably suffice here, just as long as we have a way to combat the chain reduction that's inflicted to the crew. We'll go ahead and use the Crocodile Special, which will generate a, an orb boost for the crew. Uh, it's a two times orb boost to Psy, Strength, and... It's quick as well. Yeah, I couldn't remember exactly. Yeah, it's, it's for types. Uh, Psy, Quick, and Strength characters. And now we can activate the Sober Mask special, generating a full board of tandem slots, generating an attack boost. And I mean, this is another character that doesn't even have um, a super evolution yet or a level limit break. So the, the possibilities are pretty endless for a character such as this getting a super evolution. I am pumped to see what they're going to do with this character in the future. So... We get that boost, and remember, we can activate a secondary Soma Mask special here, because it is the same named special as the other character, which means that we get the additional ability, where it will buff the attack boost from Soma Masks from 1.75 to a 2.5 times attack boost instead. So at this point, we have 2.5 attack boost, we have a 2 times orb boost, and we have a 2.75 chain lock, and this should be good enough. We have the captain ability of Sober Mask being completely activated because once you have a tandem slot, you get more damage. So without further ado, let's get the dub. Let's get it.
Wow, we didn't even have to attack with Snake Man. That was hell of a lot of damage. All right, so that was pretty good. Probably would have done upwards of maybe, I think, was it 20 million damage we just did? Probably could have been upwards of maybe 30 million damage. Something like that. But that was crazy. That was a good amount of damage with Sober Mask as a captain. Just tearing through the content without too many issues at all. And this was the debut Colosseum for Sober Mask. And even with that, using a bunch of his batch alongside him, he got through it pretty comfortably. So this just goes to show how Sober Mask was used and how efficiently he was used to clear content back when he first came out. So that brings about an end for another episode of The Legends of OBTC. Looking forward though to the next episode, we're going to be covering Nami and Robin, who actually just received a Super Evolution not that long ago. So we're going to be covering that character and see how we can utilize that unit in some content. But really hope you guys enjoyed this video covering Sober Mask. He's a bunch of fun, really, really cool legend, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what this character could do with a potential Super Evolution. But that wraps it up for me. Thank you so much for watching the video. And if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content that I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. I'm that guys. I'll see you guys within the next video.